I had so much better hopes than this. Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Well, morning. Time to go see if we can get some trucks going and uh, the tractor before we take off with the load. So, let's see what happens. The voltage good or is it just a starter? Left side. A little below 12. Well, it started. Had just a dead spot in the starter. Everything's so cold. Colin's truck just cranks. Cranks over, just doesn't fire. Another one going. Colin got the white truck already fired up. And now we're gonna go jump the tractor. Everything's plugged in, just a little low on voltage today. Now for the tractor. Sure doesn't feel like the sound like the block heater is working, does it? You should be able to touch it right there and see if it's warm. Plug in's cold right there, but I can't put the shield on. The fitting right going into the block should be warm right there. Oh yeah, those side deals are on, aren't they? <clears throat> Be slightly warm. It's not like it's like cold. And does the metal. does the plug spark when you want to hook it? Oh yeah. Maybe we just leave the pickup hooked up to it while we're gone, huh? Well, we're just fighting that uh, tractor getting that started. So I'm gonna go home. We need to get that oil warmed up. So I'm gonna go home, go get a torch and a chunk of stove pipe to uh, get some heat up into the oil pan and uh, bring over the eight inch auger because uh, we do have to load a little more to fill a contract in order in these bags, so. Go guys, you finally saw a pusher axle go down on a truck. Don't let them on the gravel because I don't like rock chips. And since GoPro doesn't work right and they don't turn on fast enough, I couldn't record as I drove past the truck. Well, they're back from the elevator, always, anyways. Got the auger over here and take a load out of the bin and keep them rolling. Well, we've had the truck batteries hooked up to these batteries the whole time. Might as well at least see it'll start. And uh, here comes the wind, blowing snow off the roofs. We got a propane burner torch going, 90 coming up, lots of good heat. Get that there, warming up the oil. About a half hour, we should have a tractor running. That wind chill is really cold out there. It's only negative six out, but that wind chill, whew, makes it really cold. Well, we got heat coming up the side of the engine between the frame and the engine, so that's warming up. Block heater still plugged in. We got my pickup and the truck both hooked to the battery, or hooked to the starter actually. Oh, almost. Might actually get this thing going yet this morning. Uh, it's afternoon now. We have a development in the heating situation. The rusty five gallon bucket I knocked the bottom out of. Lots of nice warm air coming up beside the engine now. I think the wind was taking some of that heat away. On a positive note, third and fourth load of Durham is already at the elevator. So uh, if I can get this running, we can finish this bag. They load it up out of that bin over there. 
I had so much better hopes than this. Collins loaded at the third load out of that flat bottom bin that's just a little left in there whatever's left uh, for room after we get these bags in the trucks should uh, the rest of that bin should go in that truck so this is what today has come to dragon tractor out of the way we'll bring one a different one tomorrow Last night we drugged the little 95 in here with the skid steer so it would be warm. We'll get that fired up this morning. Put it on the trailer, pull it with the pickup, over to the bags. And no, I'm not going to put a hot box or whatever those heaters are on that tractor because uh, they're expensive. And if that thing is plugged in and still wouldn't start, there's something else going on. So psst, don't say anything about that in the comments. Oh, and I should mention 48 below wind chill this morning. So I got the beanie with the sweet necker thing built into it on. Well, I just got back with a torch because we can't get the oil couplers to grab because the oil is so cold and stiff that the springs won't release it back in and the ball bearing. So, see if this works. They're working. I don't think we got power though the tractor so we're gonna have to run the remote whoever's without the remote Well, that was fun. At least they're all cleaned up. Taking that home, calling an hour, taking two trucks to the elevator, then they're gonna come home and I'll take them back over and we'll get the rest of the stuff moved home. Minus the tractor because that's still not running. Well, I got a P truck to load over north of Nashua and now I just got a phone call that a canola truck is gonna be there in 45 minutes as well, so. Drop the extractor off, grab a sandwich. We're gonna load some more trucks. See who gets home first. Colin and Al or me from loading trucks. Oh, I didn't see that, did you? Too many layers on? There.
think I'm gonna skip the gym tonight. Got my workout in. All right, so all those contracts are filled. 78,000, 80,000 bushels worth. Wow, it's got a lot hauled. Trucks are all in the shop here that need a little work. That one needs the shutoff switch put on it for the batteries, and this one needs an airbag, and this one needs, we're gonna work on the fifth wheel plate, redo the frame underneath of it, just repair and stuff. Morning. Well, it's cold out today, and we got the bags hauled, all hauled yesterday. So, today, shop day. We got the green truck in here, along with the teal and the blue truck, but I'm gonna work on the green truck first here, and. Been having problems with the batteries on this truck. Stay in charge. So we're gonna put a battery switch in it so we can turn them on and off. That way, hopefully it saves the batteries. So we don't have to put batteries in it so much. And then while it's in here, I'm gonna get the May West poly plate on the fifth wheel. That way it's done and ready to go. Colin. Yeah? I can't work today. Why not? I can't find my pliers. Uh-oh. Can't be a farmer without a pliers. Nope. It's not my pickup. It's not my coveralls. I still lost it somewhere yesterday. Uh oh. I'm going home. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got new airlines. Since these like to break in the cold. Now we'll fix them. Got the fifth wheel plate done. Got the hoses on the truck. And now to do the battery disconnect. Just like that. We are the champions. Bounce loose. That should be Tony. Champ fire yet? No. Not Almost? Yet. Almost. You wouldn't need a haircut then, would you? Nope. Be a free haircut. <laughs> you jump too? <laughs> Just a little bit. Alright, got the end soldered on them. Not time to put them on. What are you trying to do? Uh, putting a battery disconnect in this truck so that we don't keep ruining batteries or killing batteries. Why is there...
<laughs> it works. Well, I've been doing a lot of little running around projects in the office, um, fixing cow water tanks, calling and working on trucks, but now I gotta go load up the canola trucks. He's loaded. Man, frosty. Well, that was fun. At least I found my pliers. We finally got it. The right one. So, let's put it together. Get it all back together, that way we can use it. There, got it all back together and it works. Good deal. <laughs>